All right, my Make Toys Green Giant finally came in from TF Source, so I can resume my comparison videos of the TFC Toys Hercules, Make Toys Giant, and um, Hasbro Classics Devastator. And the other one that I was doing, RID Landfill, doesn't have a front loader type of guy, so he's not included in this review. Here are the relative heights. Um, if we move his bucket a little bit, you can see clearly Hercules is the biggest. And Giant is not too far behind, but a little bit closer. Or rather, a little bit shorter. Um, here's my neat little Star Wars guy for some scale. And I don't have a deluxe transformer here with me. Hmm. How about a figure art? A little bit taller. I think these are up five and a half inches tall, so there's that. Um, so these guys are all front loaders. They have one thing in common that this one doesn't do, that he's the other direction, the other two. The bucket does not make part of the foot. In this case, he uses this purple Energon Dealy because this is a repaint of Energon Devastator or Construction Maximus, something like that. Um, this one has ankle rockers, so it can be a left or a right foot. This one has nothing. Um, it has a knee joint. That connection point bends. Um, this one also bends. Um, also of vague interest is the fact that it's the same connection port, and because I don't know how to use my lights, I can't tell that. Now they might even be the same size. I thought these were slightly upscaled, but maybe not. I haven't actually compared them. But he has no other articulation. And this guy also has some um, ankle rocking uh, forward back as well. And he, this, the knee joint is not part of wheel loader. It's part of um, dump truck, whatever. Uh, does this one? No. So this one only has ankle rocking. Although you can kind of get some forward and back motion with the bucket. Okay, that's all well and good. Um, let's try and get these guys into vehicle mode since that's the closest. In fact, I can do that on screen and it won't take very long. Fold this up, you can leave it on or get rid of it, who cares? Since I can't line it up. Bam, vehicle mode. Also, same thing. Oh, these have heavy ratcheting joints, which means it's nice and stable and kind of a little bit of a pain to transform. Bam. Vehicle mode. Was my hands in the way for that whole thing? Now this guy, I actually, this is my least favorite of all the giant figures. Um, a large part of it is due to the way this thing rotates. Uh, the engine locks it in place, which is good. Otherwise, it would not stay in place at all in the least. Because, let's see if we can get it on camera. There are a couple of little nubs on the purple plastic that are just ending up in shadow. There you can kind of see them, and there's a couple of nubs on the gray thing. They are kind of good at first, and then the first time you start moving it past these nubs, the gray plastic just um, starts shearing off on this side anyway. I don't know if that means I'm turning it the wrong direction, or if it's just loose plastic or what. Uh, I think this goes... Anyway, you can see it's pretty much the same idea as Hercules, or rotate these some way or other. And, okay, I better pause this and do it off camera. Okay, I got the wheels rotated around correctly now, I think. This guy is just such a pain to transform. This canopy, the way it is attached and hinges is really unintuitive. Those little nubs that kind of help lock it in place are really hard to force into place or 
past other things. Somehow his head is supposed to end up underneath there so we can turn into a front loader. And I think the problem is those nubs. I need to move this past. Because this guy is, there we go. He's got a cool head. That's about the only thing I like about him. Let's see if I can get his head on camera quick because it's actually going to be kind of hard to see in vehicle mode or in bot mode. Um, so yeah, anyway. So I think you fold it up in there and then you try and wiggle this around it somehow. I think I was supposed to slam it into place down there. There we go. Nope. Needs to sit up higher, huh? Like I said, this thing is... This is the worst one. And I've read on TFW, a lot of people like this one the best. And I hate it. Maybe I don't have those rotated the right way. Maybe they need to go up more. But, anyway. It's just, it's a crappy transformer. I hate to say it for a $60 deluxe figure. But, there we go. Um... Hercules is significantly larger in this mode. And this guy is almost on scale with the basic Energon figure. He's a little bit bigger still, but he doesn't look all that much bigger. Um, and he's about as posable. Bucket moves up, rotate, that's about it. Oh, and spinny wheels. Whee. Very spinny wheels, wow, that was nice. Um, pretty much same thing, spinny wheels, and bucket rotates up and down. And it does not rotate on that joint, just on that one. Up, down, that's it. Pistons are just for looks, they do nothing. It does have a little trailer hitch. So you can attach one of these portable generator dealies that came with... Well, this came as a gift set. Um, but these are the arms. On the yellow set, they came with the bulldozer and... Uh, tracking. So it kind of plugs in there very, very loosely. Not terribly impressive, in my opinion. They it, nice. It does attach better to uh, the cement mixer. I found this one's also really loose. So yeah, the Hercules bot structure is articulated the same way as this one. One down at the car. Apparently, I bought my camera. One there and one at the bucket, and it's got a pseudo piston thing going, which looks really cool. And then spinny wheels. And that's pretty much it. It does have a cab that you can remove and not really stick anywhere else in this mode. And if you don't have everything clicked right, it does not plug in together. Let's see. <coughs> Hercules rather struck door, comes with this gun and another red one, which I don't have on me at the moment, which you could, I guess, plug into here and make it look like smokestacks, or, you know, if you only have one, less like smokestacks, and he's already got a smokestack right there. So, meh, for using this in vehicle mode, at least on this guy. You can put it in there, and now he's carrying something. He also comes with the wings. Let's try and get in the light. Wings. The wings attach to this piece that came with Mixmaster. Or rather, Mad Blender. And when you do that, they become a chest shield for a Devastator. Hercules, rather. So that's cool. There's a thread on TFW that I was shown over the weekend that shows all sorts of different configurations of these gun bits. And they're cool. And the one I'm thinking of used these as uh, bipods for a big long sniper rifle using all the red and purple parts. It was cool. Uh, you can attach the wings here if you want or you know, find a more interesting thing to do with them on the other bots. But now the front loader totally has a cool spoiler. I guess you can mount this on top of that because it has a hole there. Some of these pegs or holes, one of the two, or maybe both, I found to be slightly less um, consistent in the size compared to, say, Hasbro figures. I don't know if the plastic that they use just 
shrinks a little bit differently or something. Anyway, so there's Structor. I like this guy. He's actually quite a cool bot mode or vehicle mode. Again, this guy, I don't think I finished transforming that correctly. Um, but either way, I, this thing is a mess. It just it will not do anything useful. Oh, nice. I popped his head off. That's probably going to interfere with getting him into any sort of position I want. The other Marque Toys giant bots are really, really, really good. I don't know why this guy feels like he was designed by a completely different company that didn't know what they were doing, because he sucks. I cannot convey to you strongly enough my impression. There we go. That's more what he's supposed to look like. That looks a little better. I still don't think I have these stupid reels rotated the right way, but this this rotation hinge joint, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, it seems like it was a poor design to me. Um, it just it doesn't like to stay in the right spots. I think it's damaging itself every time you move it past the little stops. Not cool. <clears throat> and since it is kind of an integral part of the combined mode because it forms the heels, yeah, it's really too bad. It looks all right. It's still kind of goofy looking, but it it's an okay looking vehicle thing. I have the yellow version around here somewhere because I haven't sold it yet. But if you're looking for the yellow set consisting of front loader and cement mixer, which is my favorite of the group, um, send me a comment or something, and I will. Sell it to you, because I have the green one now. I don't need the yellow one. All right, enough of the vehicle modes. Although, this guy came with something. Came with one of these little gun things. Which slides out. Except I don't think there's anything to do with it in... Anything for him to do with it in vehicle mode. Unless you want to maybe try and plug it into one of these. Hooray. Vehicle modes. Hercules is clearly the winner, followed by Hasbro, in my opinion. Alright, let's get some bot modes going. Alright, let's get height comparisons out of the way quick. Here's the same Kamen Rider skull from before. Still about as tall as Structor. Maybe a little shorter than Structor now. Star Wars guy. You can't even see it. Isn't that exciting? Skull's awesome. Okay. Uh... Where to start? Um, first, let's start with this. I said this is the gun that Front Loader came with, and I was completely wrong. Um, that one came with one of the bulldozer. This is the gun he comes with. And there's a little tab right there, and this ends up on the back of one of his. On one side of him, you can attach it right there if you want in vehicle mode. Isn't that great? He holds it nice. It's a nice looking gun. I like what it does in combined mode. Let's uh, let's talk about this guy because A, he sucks, and B, I hate him. As you may notice, he's almost as tall as Structor. That's because I cannot finish transforming him. This one was misassembled. As you can hopefully see, this piece is that piece but it's not supposed to be it should the slot should be over there more because that's what lets this slide up inside of there and because this one's on the wrong side this piece is offset too much and it clashes so on top of the fact that I already didn't like this guy mine is defective he's gimpy um, but why else don't I like him on his forearms these things clash all the time his shoulder stupid thing that I hate from vehicle mode it doesn't hold his arms right or maybe I don't have it in the right place but again every time you move those little gray nubs past the perfect purple nub they start chewing each other to pieces so his shoulders don't anchor in the right place it's hard to keep his head for up all the way um, so he's not staring into whatever interesting 
panel he's got in there with a book on it, probably, so he can ignore what everybody else is doing. So you can rarely see his face. And I, I think it's a good face that I am not lighting very well. And he's usually looking down anyway. I think they must have made some adjustments here on this green version, because on the yellow one, these were colliding with the bucket a lot more. Um, they're not as much, so they must have made them thinner, done something, and maybe the trade-off is now they're down here. I would have to dig out the yellow one. And I really don't like this guy enough to do that. He has no ankle articulation except inward. So I guess he can do really wide-legged stances. Wow, isn't that great? Just what you always wanted him to do, to do the splits. Except the hips are slightly loose enough on mine, that's not going to work really well. Um, but the slightest bit of back motion, but that's really just kind of a fluke until that plastic runs into itself. I don't think it's really supposed to be a joint. I guess he has some waist articulation. But let's go ahead now and talk about the thing that all of these scrappers, structors, front loaders have in common, and that is hella back kibble. Look at this thing. What the hell is that? It's just hanging off of his... It's attached on his ass. How great. Um, you can't do anything with it except fold it around more differently here. I mean, you can pull the engine thing off and then close that. Now his cancerous growth is a little smaller. I guess you could... Yeah, there's, there's just nothing to do with this to keep it out of the way. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But that is not limited to this Make Toys figure. Because Hercules, Structor rather, he has you know this thing. At least this one's free to move. You can try and figure out something you like to do with it. You know, he even got his own umbrella or something. But again, this. What the hell? His butt is so big he can't even move his legs back. Unless you pop this bit off. And then this can jam in there, and then he's got a little more room, but then again, he's got the big old cancerous back hump. He could probably affect his balance. I like Structor. Um, I like him a lot more than I thought I would, particularly in vehicle mode, but the, the, the bot mode's not bad. He's got a cool face. I like it. Um, decently posable, swivels, hinges... Um, he's even got his little waist tilt. He's got good heel spurs, so he can kind of compensate for his camel hump. But seriously, what is up with that? Hey, let's take a look at the Hasbro Scrapper. Same huge, gigantic back kibble. This was comprised of wheels, with wheels, which I guess you could flare them back out a little bit, and then they are, I don't know, hover things. And then you could fold this up a little more if you move his arms. And I guess you have to do it first before you put his arms in place because otherwise they block the wheels. So you can kind of do that, but again, still gigantic back cancerous growths. And I don't like that. That is a major issue on all three of these guys. I mean, geez. What more is there to say about that? Um, obviously, I like the Hercules figure the best. TFC Toys did a great job. Despite his camel hump, this is the best one, in my opinion. This guy's not bad. I, I, I do like the little classic Steph Stater. Um, his knee ball joints are a little loose. But he's pretty poseable, and he's got good heel spurs, and he's just a midget. I don't know, there's nothing wrong with that. No, he also has some weird thing that counts as a weapon, I guess. But uh, considering how expensive Classics Devastator is to get a hold of nowadays, which may be only be around 100 bucks or so for the whole set, um, take the $100 and buy Structor. He's awesome. Except for his hump. But then you've got one-sixth of Devastator. A big one. So, yeah, I hate, I hate this guy. Um, I'm going to have to contact... TF Source and see if they can send me a replacement bit there. I mean, geez. 
At least it was on the figure I already disliked, and not on a good one. So, yeah. To stop my rambling, TFC Toys Hercules figure, Structor, is the winner of these three. Thanks for watching.